My name is Jesus Bartolomé Ochoa, Jr. I'm a retired lawyer, the principal founder of the Mexican-American Bar Association of El Paso. And Cleo was my uh, close uncle. Cleo was very, very much a patriot. He served in the First World War, enlisted, lied about his age, and it is true that at a, at a special uh, meeting held in the evening at night after hours, he was sworn in as a citizen at the United States Federal District Court. And the next day he enlisted and he was shipped off to Europe. He was a founder of uh, the first American Legion post in El Paso. He became a key member in what was called the, the key man method of picking grand jurors for the federal district court. And he did that until he found out that his services were being used to discriminate against Mexicans. So he quit. You won't find that in the history books. He founded the first Knights of Columbus chapter for people who spoke no English. And that was a signal accomplishment. That was when he, must have been about 1972, that he said to me one day, Junior, we're gonna put your college education to work. You and I are gonna collaborate on a book. The following year he died. And we never did the uh, book. Cleo had two consuming passions in its life. The first was history. And the second was Mount Cristo Rey. Bishop Schuler was approached by Monsignor Costas and my uncle, and the bishop was moved. So that'd be the first great consuming passion. The second was the history of El Paso del Norte, and that would be Juarez of today. In telling you points where he influenced the, re the region, would be number one, the uh, respect for history. but. Really, the thing that uh, cemented his legacy is that it was such that you and I are sitting here today talking about a visionary, did a great many good things, the most important of which in my mind was that he taught a great many people, including me, that you can set out to do what you want to do and you can set your own limits. And that's an invaluable gift. Only in El Paso is a collaboration between KCOS, Destination El Paso, and PBS Digital Studios. With support from El Paso Electric, proud to be your local utility.